and welcome back to another episode of Youthless Information, the podcast where we delve into the most trivial and insignificant facts you never knew you needed. I'm your host, Michelle, and today we're shining a light on a vitamin that has been in the spotlight lately, vitamin D. But before I get to that, there is a reason I refuse to live in Florida. My aunt used to live in Florida. She used to live between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. And I would go down and visit her often. I love Florida. I think Florida is great. I like to visit the Keys, Key West. Florida is absolutely beautiful. But while I would love to live there, the state has too many lakes. And you know what comes with lakes? Alligators. And I just can't deal with it. Somebody that I know on my daughter's team, her mother lives in Florida. And she's, oh, yeah, there's Florida is great. She's from Pennsylvania and she moved to Florida. And I'm like, the reason that I won't move to Florida is because of the alligators, the alligator sightings. And she's, yeah, those don't happen. Whatever. Alligator sightings and encounters are common due to Florida's environment. I just read this story about a Florida woman. She heard a knock on her front door. And guess who it was? It was Mr. Alligator. Hello. Hi. I'm here. I'm here. What? The what? (laughs) No, people. No. All my Floridians down there, how do you deal with it? So the alligator is believed to be about 85 years old and probably weighs about 1,200 pounds. This was in Gateway, Florida. Never heard of it. But the woman and her husband, they heard a knocking around 1030 in the evening. And as they went to go answer the door, apparently their door is glass. So as they went to answer the door, they were greeted by the alligator just chilling, lounging on their doorstep. Hey, how y'all doing? What's going on here? Y'all got food? Are y'all food? So the owners, they were able to get pictures of the alligator chilling at their door. It even gave a little grin like, yeah, what's up? Before eventually it darted back off into the darkness. This is what I have said on many occasions. The reason that I don't want to live in Florida like that is because alligators come to your front door. They do. And that is a prime example. Let me know if y'all know something differently. Okay, because I just tell people all the time, that's why I won't move to Florida when I retire. And I keep trying to, and they keep trying to tell me that this kind of shit doesn't happen very often. Then why do I keep hearing or reading about it often? Explain that one to me. I don't know. But let me just say, it is very important, you all. It's very important to remember there are alligator encounters and they can be dangerous. They out there ready to eat your arm. Okay. So all alligators should be treated with caution and respect. You just a squirrel and you're their nut. Okay. So that's how I see that. But now let's uncover vitamin D secrets, benefits, and drawbacks. But a word from our sponsor first. Do you like to read episodic fiction? If you do, welcome to the story of Tommy and Josie on Amazon's Kindle Vela. Tommy is somewhat lost after breaking up with Claire, but he meets Josie, a waitress at a local diner. Bonding over music and adventure, they connect intimately over a weekend. Their romance is fleeting, but they realize their connection transcends time and distance. Will their whirlwind romance become a lifetime of love or fade away like a passing breeze? The Weekend is a heartwarming tale by HQ, exploring chance encounters and enduring love. Be swept away by the whirlwind romance of Tommy and Josie. Learn more at the HQ website at www.itchque.com. Sunray Multimedia sponsored this ad. Have you ever noticed how a sunny day can instantly lift your spirits? Oh my God, the sun is out today. Yes, we're going to have a good day. But vitamin D plays a significant role in our emotional well-being. And studies have suggested that this essential vitamin helps ward off depression and low mood, acting as an emotional stalwart 
It assists in balancing our emotional state and keeping our minds focused and sharp. Did you know that? I know that because I feel it. I take a vitamin D supplement. But I also like, I walk my dog at least three times a day. And now that it's late spring going into summer, the sun is shining and it's great. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's just right. But let me just say, before we delve into the benefits and uses of vitamin D, let's just take a step back and explore its history. British scientist by the name of Sir Edward Mellenby discovered vitamin D in the early 20th century. And he conducted experiments on dogs, feeding them different diets, and found that a diet deficient in vitamin D led to rickets, a condition characterized by weakened and deformed bones. And this groundbreaking research highlighted the crucial role of vitamin D in bone health. So why is vitamin D necessary? One of the primary functions of vitamin D is to aid in absorption of calcium and phosphorus, minerals essential for bone strength and growth. So it helps regulate calcium and phosphorus levels in the blood, ensuring that proper functioning of your skeletal system. So are you getting enough vitamin D? Do you need to get a metabolic panel and see what vitamins you're deficient in it's just something to consider now that we explored the history let's discuss some practical uses and interesting facts did you know that vitamin d is sometimes called the sunshine vitamin because our bodies can produce it when our skin is exposed to sunlight pretty cool it's fascinating that this incredible vitamin it profoundly affects our emotional and physical well-being So how can we ensure we're getting enough of this magical nutrient? The primary source of vitamin D, like I said, is sunlight. So when our skin is exposed to the sun's rays, it triggers a remarkable process that allows our bodies to produce vitamin D naturally. Spending time outdoors and soaking up the sun's general embrace can give us a healthy dose of this uplifting vitamin. But Before you just start going outside and just soaking up all the rays and just sitting out there forever, you have to strike a balance and you have to practice sun safety because excessive sun exposure without protection can lead to harmful effects like sunburns, of course, or an increased risk of skin cancer. So while I'm sitting here letting you know about how great sunshine is and how it affects our bodies, how vitamin D is produced from sunlight. You really do have to wear sunscreen. You have to seek shade during peak hours and take the appropriate measures to protect your skin. You only need a few minutes of being out in the sun for the vitamin D to kick in. You don't have to be out there all day. And so you also have to remember how the sun can be relentless on your skin. All those tans and it just makes your skin look rubbery and leathery. And we don't want that. We want smooth and subtle. But vitamin D also offers a host of physical advantages, particularly when it comes to bone and muscle health. So vitamin D works hand in hand with calcium and phosphorus, like I said earlier, ensuring the optimal absorption and utilization of these vital minerals. This dynamic trio fortifies our bones, making them strong and resilient. So vitamin D plays that crucial role in supporting muscle function because it helps maintain muscle strength and coordination, allowing us to move with agility and grace. You don't have enough vitamin D, you get stiff and you can feel the stiffness. Whether you're an avid athlete or you enjoy an occasional stroll, vitamin D is a true ally in keeping your muscles in top shape. So you have to think about that. How much vitamin D are you really getting, people? Vitamin D also plays a vital role in our immune system. And this is where a lot of talk has come regarding what we just went through. I don't want to say its name. You know what it is for the last couple of years. So vitamin D plays this role in our immune system, supporting its overall function and reducing the risk of certain diseases. It also contributes to maintaining healthy teeth. 
So some studies suggest that vitamin D may positively impact mental health, although more research is needed to establish a definitive link. But like everything in life, vitamin D also has its challenges. We know that. And potential negative effects. While the sun is the primary source of vitamin D, like I said, excessive sun exposure can lead to sunburn, skin damage, and increased risk of skin cancer. So you got to find that balance between getting enough sunlight for vitamin D synthesis and protecting yourself from harmful UV radiation. This is very essential. This is essential, people. But another challenge with vitamin D is that it's not naturally present in many foods. So some dietary sources of vitamin D include fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, fortified dairy products, eggs and mushrooms, and then, of course, being exposed to UV light. However, obtaining adequate amounts of vitamin D through diet alone can be difficult especially for those with limited sun exposure or specific dietary restrictions. So across the world, many people are vitamin D deficient. And that is a global health concern, especially in regions where limited sunlight or during winter when people spend less time outdoors. So the supplements to address any type of vitamin D deficiencies, just in case there aren't any natural sources where they're insufficient. But of course, before you even think about taking a supplement, it is crucial, please you all, consult a healthcare professional before starting any supplementation or excessive vitamin D intake because it can lead to toxicity. Symptoms of vitamin D toxicity may include nausea, vomiting, weakness, and even kidney problems. Did you know this fascinating fact that vitamin D is actually a hormone? Because it's synthesized in our skin, when a specific type of cholesterol is exposed to UVB rays from sunlight, this precursor molecule that undergoes various metabolic processes in the liver and kidneys to form the active form of vitamin D that our bodies can use. So while obtaining vitamin D, sunshine and supplements of course, like I said, are the go-to options. But let me just dig deeper into some of the foods that can help narrow the deficiency during winter. Of course, I had said oily fish like the salmon and the mackerel, but we also got sardines. That's packed with vitamin D. You know, where I am, We love our seafood. So if you're a fan of seafood, consider incorporating more of these vitamin D rich fishes into your diet. But moving on to a more surprising option, we have orange juice. So if orange juice is fortified with vitamin D, you can get it there too. So some brands of orange juice are fortified and they just say it right there on the carton. But it is if you like orange juice, it is refreshing in a citrusy way to get your daily dose of vitamin D. I take a vitamin D supplement. I don't really drink orange juice like that because of the sugar content. Let's not forget about eggs, particularly the yolks. So eggs contain small amounts of vitamin D with the majority found in the yolks. So the next time you enjoy an omelet or a perfectly horrible egg, remember that you're also treating your body to bits of vitamin D. Yay! So these foods can assist in narrowing your deficiency, but they may not provide all the vitamin D your body needs on its own. So you have to prioritize. You have to think about, let me get some sun real quick, some sunshine exposure. Change your diet in terms of if you eating, you're not eating those fishes or you're not drinking the orange juice because these things are vital to your immune system and to your bone strength and to muscles. And don't forget to consult your healthcare provider or your healthcare professional about appropriate supplementation if needed to meet your needs that are essential. Okay, so now, whether you are seeking an emotional boost or you're trying to aim to keep your bones strong or desiring enhanced muscle performance, don't forget that vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin, is here to help you. Its multifaceted benefits 
make it a true champion of our well-being. And that is it. I love my vitamin D. I take it daily. But if you like what you're hearing in the Useless Information Podcast, please take the time to hit that follow or subscribe button so you're kept up to date when another episode goes live. And if you like what you're hearing, do me a big favor. Go ahead and leave a review if you're listening or Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or whatever major podcast platform you're on. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Your follow, your subscribe, or review lets the podcast guys know, hell yeah, I'm picking up what Michelle is putting down. But thank you for joining me on this journey, and I'll see you next time for a more fascinating and seamlessly useless piece of information, you all. But as always, I am grateful for your listenership, and I thank you for being a part of the Useless Information crew. Remember, today and always... Until next time, be well, stay safe, and give love. This podcast has been produced by Sunray Multimedia and Michelle Carey. Music by CreatorMix.com. The YouTube audio library and editing by Descript.